Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a question that I get very commonly and it's asking on which summons are reducible. Generally, this is probably for new players, end game players not nearly as much, but there are some things even end game players may not be thinking about long term, so I will probably go over those as well. But these summons are the ones I feel are reducible. Um, general rule of thumb, anything that's limited, it's not reducible. Don't reduce anything that's limited. But I'm going to try to go over every summon individually. But because of that, it may be a long video, so I may have to cut it up in parts. So that's when I throw it out there. Now, there's a couple type of summons. There's a lot of them. You have your farmable ones. You have your premium gal ones and then you have your limited so you do have three different tiers generally everything that's farmable is reducible the only two sums i would like to show you right at the very beginning there's two that i would not recommend reducing which is kieran kieran is one sum and i do not recommend reducing early on quillen or you want to call it in anglo japanese is kieran but um I don't recommend reducing this one. This one has a ton of value even in multiple. So I highly recommend keeping this one. Um, even if you have like two copies, math limit break, it does have value. Even three copies, math limit break does have value. So I recommend not reducing it. The next one being how long. Now this is another farmable one. Um, I recommend keeping at least one copy math limit break. This one's not nearly as important to have uh, multiple copies of. So you can just keep one copy match limit break and then afterwards you can reduce it. But until you have one match limit break, I do not recommend reducing it. Now with that, I would like to explain the format I'll be going by. So I'll be going by three tiers as in tier one being reduced in this tier. Anything that's in this tier, you can reduce it outright. It doesn't really matter much. Uh, I, I will give reasons as to why you should reduce it, but reduce tier is just anything that's reducible instantly. You don't have to have to really think too much about it. Second tier is hold on. So this is summons that have potential in the future to become better and be more core in the future, even though right now they may not be that great, but they do have future endeavors that make may make them more viable in the future so i just think i think i said future like five times i'm not the best at talking but um that's how hold on will be and then keep keep it any summon that i usually keep regardless they have value now and they will still have value in the future so um unless they get power creep you know i i can't account for things getting power crept um but uh looking at you bow <laughs> Bow is like the biggest example of something that was a keep and now it's completely reduced um, because of Hangman, unfortunately. But yeah, that's the idea I'm going to go with. So uh, tell me how you guys feel about this. Uh, do you like this or not? So for that, we'll be doing two parts to it. So thank you guys for watching and let's get on to the video. Okay, with that, we're going to first be looking at the fire summons first. So we're gonna go in order here, and the first summon we'll be looking at is Athena. Now Athena is a very strong summon, something I would not recommend anyone ever reducing, because even at zero star, it's still a valuable summon, sporting the a beautiful, beautiful 30% all elemental damage cuts that does stack with Phalanx, allowing you to get a 100% damage cut for one turn. Very strong combination, works on any LE, Definitely a very good summon. Best used in fire though, as with fire you do get access to it turn six, opposed to turn nine. But Athena is definitely a good summon, whether it's zero, zero star or four, uh, full limit break, mass limit break, full limit break, yeah, full limit break. I cut. Th there's so many breaks now that they're three, four, and five star. I, I tend to forget the names to be honest. Now we have Seder. Now um, this summon's still very good though its value is mainly at a four star limit break so you will need four copies unless you want to sunstone it which i don't recommend doing but um unless you get four copies of it it's not going to have much value but it was something that i would keep for harder content as it does have stackable buffs and debuffs in one thing and a very short cooldown 
callable turn one as well on fire it's very strong for the four star and i recommend keeping these in the future when you need harder content so it's definitely very good on fire as fire doesn't really have that stackable buff so not bad at all not bad at all next we have twin elements this has no value unless this gets a, a five star in the future it, it, it's not going to be used by anyone unfortunately though it does have potential with the bonus water damage and fire damage maybe sometime in the future maybe it can get like some five star and, and it could be a good meme but for now it's waste it's a waste don't even don't even look at it it's not even worth just reduce it <laughs> unfortunately it's twin elements is just fire agni it's limited i don't really have to talk much about it that's about it <laughs> um as i ever mentioned all limited to should not be reduced at all now Prometheus. Prometheus is the fire carbuncle for, well, fire, right? So this is still valuable. The bunkles don't have nearly as much value as they used to have due to people having much more damage in their grids. Now they're mainly used as damage cuts. However, with the upcoming six dragons, bunkles may have more value again in harder content as a way to cut damage and still boost the damage if the bosses do have very high damage uh, high, high defense so i would hold the bunkles as they do have value in the upcoming content for the sixth anniversary so if i was you guys i would definitely keep it very strong very strong for on ellie though off ellie not nearly as strong they, they do have value but they're not nearly as strong off ellie as they are on ellie now we have sethlins this summon is pretty bad um it's, it doesn't really have much value that's the big boost to attack you gain from it on a four star doesn't really boost your damage cap so if you're already hitting damage cap it's kind of pointless it's not really great it's not shiva and that's all i gotta really mention it's a fire attack summon and its name is not shiva therefore it's irrelevant and it will not be used um if you don't if you have like if you plan to build an agni grid you're best off going devil agni or something because no point of running cephalins honestly next we have shiva the shiva that's all um <laughs> it's limited and it's shiva you're not reducing it don't reduce it please don't now we have zhao shen now, this summon is something I would recommend holding on to, as it does have very unique things. One, it hits to fire defense. Now, this is not that important with Devil existing, but in the future, this can be more valuable if it allows you to call with a full limit break, turn one, as you can cap defense down, uh, maybe, with fire. So, it may have value in the future. Who knows what the high dragons have maybe the high dragons have resistance to mist as well and you need fire defense down so this does have value secondly it has stackable debuffs attack and defense though they're slight on full limit break it does have a chance of being guaranteed stackable attack and defense down which is very valuable if you know aladdin he has the same ability though his are only 25 while this is Zhao Shen, it's a 50. So it does have value in the future. I would look out for it. Um, I do believe it can be useful, but it's not something I would main. More of like something that you would run in your grid summons and maybe it could be useful in the future. Right now, it doesn't have any use, but something that can definitely be power crept and become core. So just watch out for it in the future. Now, Sylphid, this is like their poor attempt of giving everybody Shiva. It's not Shiva, um, though it's a 120 attack boosting summon, so it does have value for people who want to build Agni without having Shiva, though I don't recommend it really, but it's for those who want to build Agni really bad and just want to get out the Magna life. So if, if that's you, you may want to keep it as an option. Just know that I hope you have a lot of grand blue alts because you're going to need your Shiva alts, boy. Let you know that right now. If you, you're you going to need some Shiva alts, tell you that. Now we have Michael, the Primarch. Keep it. You see that? 
That, that's like value. That's value. <laughs> Keep it. Michael, definitely. Limited. And now we have another one. It's limited. Let's keep it. So, and look, you got Athena and Medusa on it. It's so cute. How can you? How can you reduce this and feel? How can you reduce this and not feel bad? It's like it's so. It's Athena throwing a ball at Medusa. <laughs> Medusa got knocked the out. <laughs> I love the the art alone makes it valuable in my opinion. The, the art alone, I don't even care what it does. <laughs> but yes, it's limited, so I recommend keeping it. I do not recommend reducing any limited summons. You never know what they do in the future, but I'll definitely keep it. Though, if you really want to, you can reduce it maybe, but it's limited. I, you know, you don't get a lot of them, so. That's fire, though. Let's move on to the next Ellie. Okay, so we're on to water. Now with water... There's a lot of summons, so you, got, you know there's some water bias here. You go, we look at fire and you see fire with, you know, not nearly as many as water. Water bias is real, guys, man. They love water, I tell you that. But first we have Mackie. Mackie, good old Mackie, it's bad. Now, the problem with Mackie is that it's still break lock. Break lock has some type of value, but it's not nearly as used as it once was used uh, about three years ago, two years ago. So it, it's kind of lost the value in break lock. The charge bar speed is so minuscule that it's not something I recommend full limit breaking it for. As you know, full limit breaking it does cost elements or quartz. I forget what it's called. So, Mackie's not something I recommend. It's definitely reducible. Definitely. Most definitely reducible. Now we have Granny. It's bad. Granny's bad. This is like a meme, honestly. I, I remember I tried a full limit break it one time. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. Uh, it doesn't have much value. You can just re reduce it. It, do it doesn't do much. Now we have Oceanus, aka not Europa. The full limit break is pretty much just a worse version of Europa's call, and therefore that alone makes it kind of irrelevant because Europa's not even that great at a call. So unfortunate. Unfortunately, the good art is wasted. Hopefully, though, in the future we get an Oceanus playable. See, cute. You know. You know. I'm down with Oceanus playable. Just throwing this side game, you know. It's cute. Just throwing it out there. In case you watch the video. Next, we have Neptune. Now, Neptune, she's also cute. And she did get a new look in her Rise of the Beast. So it's possible that they may actually full limit break her in the future. She was supposed to get full limit break actually a while ago because they mentioned in 2017 they wanted to full limit break all the refresh summons and she still don't got a full limit break. But most of the refresh summons do have a full limit break. So Neptune's full limit break is right around the corner. So I would hold on to her till the end of the year maybe because you never know what they're going to do. And her thighs are so nice. So I mean like... I mean, she's kind of fodder right now, but you know her. I think her full limit break is right around the corner, and we'll see if that ever happens. Because you know, you know, you never know with side games. You never know. They can just skip it all for all we know, like they did for like the last year. Who knows? Who knows? Varuna, the primal for water. It's primal. It's limited. Don't reduce. Kaguya, your your leeching summon. Now, I actually hope Kaguya get a four star. Um, we had got Kaguya in 2016, I believe. So it'd be about three years since he got since he got released in the game. So it'd be nice if she get a four star this year. But um, yeah, Kaguya, limited. Don't reduce it. Next we have the whale bunkle. Literally the whale bunkle. Um It's a water bunkle. Very strong for for Fa on LD. As I mentioned, the, the, the upcoming high dragons will be on LD, so this will have more value in those harder raids. So you definitely want to keep copies of it for the harder stuff in the future. Bony Toe, Bony Toe is the god, the fish, the monster. Now this summon is amazing. Now I would definitely tell you to keep copies of it until you match limit break it. Afterwards, you can let go of it like it's nothing. But definitely, definitely, you definitely want to match limit break this ASAP. It will make your event farming, story farming, a lot quicker for most people. There are people who are doing double how long strat, but that's more for, that's like ultra end game players generally. 
Ponytail is good for like mid game, so not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Keep it, keep it. Now Europa, this was the closest summon I actually got that was limited to hold it. The reason being is that the call is not that important outside of maybe Yubaha high level. And that's only if you're really reckless, right? If you're a player that, you know, going to mass autos a lot and then you don't mind dying, Europa's not bad. But um, generally for a majority of the community, Europa's not that great. Not to mention that the aura is not that great either because if you're going to run an all elemental aura, you may as, well, may as well run bony toe most of the time. So it's kind of hard to recommend Europa, though it's still limited and that alone I recommend keeping it, unfortunately, even though this is the closest one that I would recommend to reducing because it's really not feasible to run in majority of content, unfortunately. I, I hate saying that, but it's really how it goes. Now, Snow White, just like Zhao Sen, this summon does hit water defense down. Who knows on the full limit break if it allows you to call it turn one and it does hit 25 water defense down. I feel that it's definitely viable and very good. So with that, I may, I may tell people to hold on to this. Um, it does also give sleep and that could be upgraded to coma in the future. So, you know, what power creep? I think Snow White can be very good in the future. Uh, right now, she's not viable, but it's something I would hold on to just in case in the future she gets a good four star. And, you know, it could be very, very good. Now we have S to Mackie. It's limited. I mean, that's all I got really mentioned. She looks good, too. I mean, look at her, look at her legs, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I mean, yeah, she's limited. <laughs> that's all I, got, I really got mentioned, to be honest. Now, Poseidon. Poseidon adds the same thing as Sylphid. Um... It's pretty okay. It's an option, but it's worse than Europa, and Europa's already bad. Therefore, I really don't recommend keeping Poseidon. Um, you have Bonito in the element, so it's no real point of having Poseidon at all. So, I would recommend reducing Poseidon, because just because of Bonito existing, it's kind of not that valuable to run Poseidon right now. So, Unfortunately for the god himself, he has to become fodder. And the last one is Gabriel. It's limited, and that alone gives it value. It's, not, it's also a damage cap booster, so pretty good, pretty good. And that's about it for water. So let's move on to Earth. Okay, now we on to Earth. And first we start off with Mr. Power Creep himself, Bow completely and utterly reducible due to the fact that hangman came out um the arcarum that everyone has access to pretty much a free-to-play option has completely power crap bow unfortunately making his four star irrelevant therefore you can just reduce bow and get it out the way because you really don't need him when you have hangman and hangman is callable up to turn one on earth so on even you can also run hangman off ld as well so Bow has no real value anymore, unfortunately. So we have Cybell next. Now this summon actually did see some play for a couple of memes when its full limit break first came out, as it did boost skill damage. But outside of that, um, it's not really ultra viable. Maybe this can be viable with tower character in the in the future and some type of crazy meme setup. But generally. <laughs> It won't be that valuable for 90% of the community, 99 probably. So this is definitely reducible. It's not that great. Next, we have Medusa, another break lock summon. Now, as I mentioned with Mackie, this did lose value over time, unfortunately. And as the game's going on, break lock, it just completely lost a lot of value now boss either instantly get out of break the moment they go in a break or they just don't go in a break at all and they just change forms like break lock has definitely lost all its value unfortunately and uh this summon is pretty much dead that's how it goes 
power creep. <laughs> you can probably see how it's going to go with this talk. A lot of power creep. Titan, the Earth Primal Limited. That's all I got to mention. It's, it's limited. Gilgamesh, the Earth Bunkle. Very good. Very, very good in Fa, thanks to Earth having Ellie switch on its Ogi with the Zeno weapon, making it viable in any hard content. Gilgamesh does give you a 60% damage cut with the Zeno's Ogi, which is very, very strong. It does not matter the Ellie of the element you're fighting against. Though will be the most value in the upcoming six dragons. Though Earth doesn't really need it that much thanks to Alex S. Alex Summer One being a character. But who doesn't want more damage cut though? Right? I mean who doesn't want to take negative damage, right? That's one damage, two damage, three damage. But yeah, I'll definitely keep it. Very good. Now Tezcat. This summon this is for the high level end game people who want to get high ranks in guild wars, right? Um, South Enfy, people were trying really hard to make this summon viable for GW. Um, it can still be viable, it just has a lot of hurdles you have to get over. And currently, Earth doesn't have the characters right now that would really take full advantage of this summon. Maybe with Monkey, Monkey, maybe with my Hera 5-star, maybe it can become more viable. It's something I'll keep a, a lookout for, but um, generally for most players, it may not be something you need, but for the people who are really main Earth and want to get a high Guild Wars ranking, this summon does have a lot of potential with the right characters in Earth, but currently Earth does not have access to the right things right now. That, that can change in the future, though. So, I'll keep one just in case. Uh, next thing we have is Urel. The limited Primark. It's a god unit. The god summon. Really, really strong. Keep it. 100%. Very good. And it's, I mean, limited. God Sworn Alex. Uh, Alexa, whatever you want to call her. I don't, I don't care. Um, it's limited. Very good. I, mean, I don't have to say much. Now, I have no way to pronounce this name, but this summon does have a lot of potential on a four star. The reason being that it does offer para paralysis. Though it's a slight chance, maybe with the four star, it can have guaranteed paralysis for, for three turns. And that alone can make it very viable for some really cool comps. Um, I don't know if... if if that would happen though, but it's something I would look out for in the future. I'll, I'll keep it in the back of my mind. If you're reducing things like on like a tier list, like this thing probably in the middle where like I would, I would try to reduce something else. But if you have to reduce an SSR summon, this is something I would definitely go for. If you have to. Um, Afterwards, we have Gorilla. Now, Gorilla has been very popular in the up in all the new Earth um, on Ellie low defense content. Gorilla giving Earth the ability to have, I believe, thirty percent bonus damage for three turns on activation, only if it's a main or sub summon. Very strong, um, and also gives a very good boost to attack and defense on calling it. The one problem is that you need to four star it and you need to either main it or sub it and subbing it is actually impossible because no one really runs a gorilla in their sub summons. Most people either run Titan, Alex, or Yig. Maybe during GW people may put it in, but currently it's not very common to be found. So you do need a lot of copies of it. So this no, it's for the, per the people who really want to main earth and really want to min max. So I would keep gorillas if you're really an Earth main. If you don't really care that much about Earth, it's not that important. URL does good enough, to be honest. So this is truly for the Earth main. Also, you know, it changes your character voice, and you know, some people don't want to hear that. Marduk! <laughs> this was my first ever uh, story. I believe this is the first ever story summon to get a four star. This is the gotcha variant, the gotcha variant of it, but uh, I remember Mark Duke being a story summon getting a four star 
and I used to, used to meme with it really hard. <laughs> um, it's cool. I just had to mention that. But Marduk, it's the elemental summon. Unfortunately, Earth has a ton of elemental summons already, um, so I can't really recommend running Marduk or keeping it. Um, it doesn't really have much value. You can just reduce it. It's really not that great, unfortunately. But if you need this 120 summon, it's an option, right? Until you get something better. Like early game, right? That's why I have these in hold because early game, they may be useful to you. But once you get to mid game and end game, you can delete them. And Yggdrasil, Oof. you know, I didn't know she were wearing panties. I'll be honest. <laughs> when I first saw this, I did not know those panties. I did, I did not, I did not notice. But yeah, looks good. Um, she's limited. Keep it. <laughs> she's limited. I don't think her call is that great to be honest, but she's limited. Got to keep it. That's my opinion. But yeah, that's about it for Earth. Wow, we can do this really quickly. JK, it's been like 20 minute video. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z, we will be looking at, oh my god, if they copyright claim me for that, I'll be, oh, I'll be annoyed. But yeah, we'll be looking at light, dark, wind. Come back. If you enjoy the content, you may want to subscribe. I don't generally do this, but maybe you want to. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.